River rats, it's time to do my chores. I gotta go get some bait. And I need bait to go catch bait. Some people might think this is staged, but no joke. There's almost always a night crawler underneath this gas can. I have other ones too, don't worry, because I'll need more. But I'm gonna put you to good use, my little gas can worm friend. All right, make friends, play nice. Okay, need bait to go catch bait. And I, I go catch bait usually about once a week unless I'm fishing a ton, ton, but I, I have a bait tank. I guess I can show you the bait tank. This is my bait tank. Got a big filter. Throw the water, what the heck. Huh, that wasn't supposed to be in there. Anyway, I got a thousand, it's a hundred gallon tank or 90 gallon, whatever. And I got a thousand gallon per hour pond pump that pumps water through this hose in here. Goes through a bunch of filter material. And then that water runs out the bottom, back into the tank. So, just like so. My favorite is when you got the tubes in there and you get the creek chubs and they think it's like a waterfall or something and they try to swim up it and you hear them go I guess I'm easily amused. Let's go catch some sunfish and hopefully some bullheads. I think there's some bullheads swimming around in here now. Oh yeah, they're in there. You can't see them, but they're in there. Hopefully you'll see them in a video here before too long. And for rigs, for bait catching rigs, I like me a good old fashioned bobber. I use a jig because it keeps them from swallowing it and a bait that swallowed the bait is going to be less healthy and ain't going to live as long. Another thing I do, you got to know your bait laws wherever you're at. I bring a bucket and I fill it up with the water from the pond and then I haul it back to my truck where I got a cooler with water in it, treated tap water, and I do that because it's illegal to transport fish in water from wherever you caught them. I mean, you're here, you can keep them in that water, but you can't throw them in your truck or your boat and haul them in that water. You gotta have your own water. Every state's different, so see what your eggs are. Some states don't even let you transport them. But I bring the bucket instead of the bait tank itself because it's lighter <laughs> to carry it on the way down. When it comes to looking for ponds that have bullheads and green sunfish and stuff, which are my favorites, I look for like really poopy looking ponds. And I only give them about 15 minutes because if it takes me very long to catch a fish, that's not a place that I qualify as a good bait spot because, you know, you don't want it to take all day. You want to be in and out, have your bait, and then that gives me time to edit up wonderful videos just like this for you guys. I say that kind of sarcastically, but no, for real, it gives me more time to do that and, you know, whatever else you need to do to prep for your fishing trip. Yay, bait. About tripped over with a little willow stick. This pond is so poopy, I love it. And I love the poopiness, because the sunfish love the poopiness. And I love sunfish. What self-respecting catfishman doesn't though, right? This particular location on it's kind of a pain. Just gotta cast over them sticks. Oh, I see a bullhead swimming. How cool. How neat is that? Maybe he wants a worm. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Well, Instabite. What do we have? Oh, bullhead! Sweet! I fished here last week for bait and I caught like I don't know, I think 40 green sunfish and did not get a single bullhead. He's so fat. <laughs> I love it. Alright, I'll fill my bucket up in the muck. Oh, that is nasty muck. That is like so gross, I don't even know if the bullhead's gonna live in it very well. Hmm. I'm gonna have to step. Get a little further out. Yeah, yeah. That's a little better. I guess we're gonna be bringing the bait tank over here. Anyway. Strategy works better, except in poopy places like this. Usually, bullheads like a bigger chunk of crawler, so I must have just dropped it right on his head. Oh, a bullhead came up and hit my bobber. That was pretty neat. Did he eat it? Something did. Another, uh, he's a little small. 
even by my low standards. Huh. It's so weird. Like I said, I caught 40 green sunfish and couldn't catch a bullhead last time. That yeah, will add him to the bucket. He'll get used. Something might want to eat him. Instantly hit. Little green sunfish this time. He's too small. This is not a pond I come to for big baits, it's a pond I come to for quick baits. Another bull. Oh no! And he took my worm. Whatever, dude. Oh, he's right there. I wonder if I can get him. Did he take off? I touched him. Oh, there he is. Get over here. <laughs> Got him. Oh. That's lucky. Zero skill involved, which I would argue most things I accomplish, that's the case. Yeah, if I was betting, I would have bet a lot of money after that bullhead fell off. I would have never saw him again. Another little greenie. Gosh, these are so small, even for this pond. Come on. You're actually big enough to work. Barely. You're in the ballpark. Into the bucket. Probably only get four or five more before I gotta haul them to the big Kukula. Ooh, that's a better one. Stay on there. Yep. He will work. A dog will hunt. I hope. It'll work. Oh, he's got freckles. Cool looking fish. The green sunfish are mighty. I love bullheads, but I think if I had to pick one, I'd pick the green sunfish overall. Very versatile. And flatheads seem to love them a lot. I like what the flatheads like. Get over here. Ooh, that's a much better one. He's a cool looking one. Look at the pattern on him. He must be like the bullhead version of a ginger with all those freckles. I feel you, buddy. Pretty or not, you'll look prettier on a hook, so into the bucket you go. It's good to see a few are getting a little bigger. It's the biggest one I've ever caught in this pond. All right, a couple more and dump them back in the truck. Oh, he hit my bobber again. Can you take my bait? Nope. I always wonder what the fish think your bobber is when they're hitting it. I mean, I get the whole concept of a lure and everything, because a lot of lures don't look like nothing underwater and they catch fish, but really, like, it's a blaze orange bobber. There's nothing in the water, natural, that is even remotely close. But they pop it. No craps given. Oh, as soon as it hit the water. Oh, my boy, green sunfish, I needed you. All right, I gotta take him back to the truck. Then we're gonna come back for more. That'll give us a chance to count them. I think I got like 12. I want 40-ish. <sighs> that water was clear when I put all those fish in there. Bullheads, they're just disgusting creatures. Might have overloaded them. 32, 33, 34. I'll get home and give them the big tank quick. Hoping the cold water didn't shock them. 
All right, River Rats, moment of truth. Oh, hey, nice shirt. Why are you staring at me so awkwardly? I don't, what, what are you doing? I'm gonna put my bait away. Oh, okay. I'm filming a video. I do that as a hobby, if you didn't know. Oh, yeah, you got your camera voice on. Yeah. I do? <laughs> yeah. I have a camera voice? Yeah. Huh. It's like a, like a narrative, sort of sarcastic. I'm always sarcastic. Yeah, it's, it's just slightly different. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put my bait away. <laughs> you want to quit talking to me and that, like that? You hurt my feelings. Oh, did it? Yeah. Did it really? No. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Okay, they're home. I can't believe how nasty the water gets. Bullheads are disgusting creatures of the highest caliber. Ugh. Yeah, that was gin clear. Oh, yeah. Your temporary home. It's like the Bullhead Hotel. They check in. I guess they check out once. Unless I don't use them, then they go back in. Yeah, I definitely overfilled that thing. Wouldn't recommend that because uh, you overfill it, then they all die and you have no bait. Ah! River Rats, I hope you enjoyed the bait vi video. If uh, if you want to see more, let me know. How about this? If this video gets 2,000 likes, I'm going to I'll do a how I catch suckers in creek chubs video, which is just happens to be a wonderful fall, spring and fall bait. Actually, any time, but it's easier to keep them alive in the spring and the fall. Anyway, I really appreciate you watching, really do. And if you want to see more of this type of stuff, hit the subscribe button. Hope you catch a giant.